All right, guys, I know you guys like oddball cars. Now, granted, this is not really an oddball car, but when's the last time you've seen one? This is a Buick Park Avenue, and this is an Ultra Edition. Now, granted, the paint is faded, but it does have aluminum wheels. That's a plus. It does have all the side molding and the trim and everything. So it's got your wheel lip moldings, your side door panel moldings. It's even got your side lights with the chrome or stainless steel trim. It's got a full vinyl top with the ultra badge. It's got the chrome stripped taillights with your bumper guards. Now this is blue with a blue vinyl top with blue interior and look at the back seats. Talk about plush. Fancy, fancy. But that's not what I wanna show you guys. What I wanna show you guys is something that I personally has, have never seen before so let me just sit right in here before i get too far into this thing let's find out what year this thing is so this is a 10 of 89 so this is a 1990 buick park avenue let's see here we have memory that's a rare option power windows Let's see what else we got here. Seat tilt adjuster. So you have power seats and they work because they're moving. You have power mirrors and they work. Power locks. A digital speedometer. Man, this just keeps getting better and better. And look at it, it works has 136,406 miles. Well, this vehicle does run and drive, but apparently the battery has died because it will not fire. Oh, I know you guys can't hear it right now, but there is an air compressor running. So this has air adjustable suspension on a 1990 Buick. You have all your buttons here to fix your gauge. More buttons over there with more lights. Headlights, interior lights. Now this was sitting out in the sun, so this has come off, but it's supposed to go right there. And, oh, if I can get in here, you have electronic touch climate control. This is all touch screen. Let's see if I can get it to turn on here. I don't know if I, I don't know if it will with it being so low on the battery. Yeah, I don't know if it's... This battery's too low or what? Yeah, the radio's not even working. I think the battery's too low. But anyway, this is all touchscreen on a 1990. You think they're a little ahead of their time? I think so. But anyway, that's not what I want to show you guys. But look at this. Check the dash out. The dash has no cracks in it. It's like brand new. These fancy seats. We've got a center console. And check out these crazy padding. I mean, it's just like little padding inserts. You got one there, one there. You got one here on the headrest. You got one right here for your thighs. One right here for your buttocks. But look at this. You wanna know what's in here? Check this out. Have you ever seen anything like this before? This is insane. This is like a video game. This is a 1990 Buick. Left 
seat, right seat. And all of this is adjustments for your seat. This is insane. You click that. And you click this. Now the headrest is going up. And now it's going down. Now it tilts out. Now it tilts in. And I'll show you. We'll click the right one. So the right one is lit up. And I'm going to hit the headrest up. Headrest down. Headrest back. Headrest forward. And what's that doing? That is actually putting air in here. So this will blow up with air or depress with air. So this button here tilts that seat forward. And then the one behind it tilts it back. Then you have all of these for your air. Air there, air, air, and then depress the air. And that lifts up for your leg and lifts down for your leg. That's like a 50-way electronic seat that's nuts. I've never, ever seen this in a Buick before. Well, I mean, actually, I've, there's only one car I've ever seen this much control work for a seat on an older car, and that was a Pontiac Bonneville. It was a S... Um, I'm probably going to butcher it. I think it was an SCE3 or something like that. But anyway, it had bucket seats. It had a center console that came down on the dash, and right here there was like... I don't know, 20 different controllers for your seat, just like this one. But that one was actually like switches like a window switch. These, This is all push button. This is all flat with just all these little push button controls. This is insane. You also have your cup holders here, which does not make sense to me because if you put your cup holder in here and you slam on the brakes, this is going to get soaked. And I imagine this was an expensive piece to replace. So that did not make sense to me, but I didn't design the car, they did. Well, that's just, that's insane. I just wanted to show you guys that because that was just crazy. The glove box is even covered in leather. I mean, when have you ever seen a glove box covered in leather? Besides on a Mercedes Maserati or something crazy like that, never. So, anyway, like I said, this vehicle runs and drives. They drove it across the scale. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know if it was misfiring or if the transmission was slipping. I don't have a clue. But I drove this around the yard. It shifted good. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I can't, I don't remember if this is one that flips forward or not. Yep, it is. I had a buddy who had a tan one of these, but it was not nowhere near loaded as this. But this has the infamous 3.8 liter, which is, are, they're good motors. Uh, bad for head gaskets, but good motors. Which reminds me, I did not check the oil. I might have a bad head gasket. Nope. Oil is clean. Oil smells good. I don't have a clue. I don't know what's wrong with it. But we might throw a dealer plate on it and roll with it for a little bit. Who knows? Look, it even has ABS. So you have ABS controller for your brakes. There's your air pump. Yep. It even has the Buick embossed heat shield underneath the hood. I mean, this is just, this is a loaded car. I mean, you I don't think you could get one any more loaded than this car. Well, you're missing a mirror. So, 
that's why they sold it for scrap. They busted the mirror off. They couldn't get a mirror. I now know why they sold it for scrap. At least that's what I'm going to say. I mean, it's just the car is clean. Car is clean. Even the lower valence is not broke. Most of the time they run them up on a curb and bust them. It's not even broke. It's still there. Oh man, I don't know. There's no dents, dings. It's a clean car, it just needs a paint job. I mean, I wouldn't paint it. I'd drive it the way it is and be done with it. But if you really want it perfect, slap a mirror on there and paint it. You know, I bet you this thing even has a pull down for the trunk. Let's see. Some of these came with an electronic pull down. Ah, uh, trunk pop, trunk pop, trunk pop. It's probably in the glove box. There it is. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna release. Uh, I'm not hearing it releasing. Crap, that battery must be pretty darn dead. Your seatbelt's a little slack too. Well, if we can't get it to release by the button, we'll release it with a key. Cause I seen an extra set of keys. Oh, check that out. Even has factory covered, or factory color carpet match floor mats that look like they were never even used with the GM badge still on it. With a power antenna so when you turn the radio on that antenna flips up so you get a good signal look it it works ha! spare tire probably still has the jack in it oh i lied the jack is missing you guys didn't see that it's still there Let's see, it's got the GM codes. It does, man, look at that sucker. That is loaded with GM option codes. That is freaking ridiculous. I've inventoried trucks that don't even have that many options on them. Ugh. Look at brand new spare. Never even used. Crazy. All right, let's watch it pull it down. That's crazy. 1990. Everything still works. Remarkable. Too bad it was sold for scrap. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed filming it. I learned a lot with this car. Hope you guys did too. And I will see you in the next one.